Let's start with the Gupta brothers. You've made the submissions in English and Arabic as required, and you've met all those requirements. Is the matter now out of your hands? Yes, uh, Bongani. The matter is now with the central authority in the UAE, who are then going to process it um, in the um, jurisdictions, which will obviously include uh, processes and courts to determine whether um, the Gupta brothers are extraditable to South Africa. And when the court has made that ruling, it will then be for the Minister of Justice in the UAE to make the decision. If the decision does not go in our favor, and in our favor, and by our favor, I mean uh, if the extradition doesn't uh, allow them to return to South Africa, does that mean then we've run out of options? Is that the end of the road? Yeah, what I can say, Wongan, is that uh, from our side, we've done everything uh, practically possible in terms of the extradition treaty, uh, which requires us um, to follow certain uh, requirements and to comply which we have done. And um, up to so far, I must state Bongan, that uh, there are very good mutual uh, diplomatic uh, relations between South Africa and the UAE. And at uh, this stage, we don't see anything that um, could prevent uh, a decision for them to be um, extradited to South Africa. That wasn't the only matter you briefed on yesterday. Where are we on that other high-profile extradition case, the Bushiris? Yes, um, the matter of the Gamma family, Mr. Shapiro Gamma and the Mary Gamma, well known as the Prophet Bushiri. It's also in the Malawi uh, High Court, where we are uh, we're in the Malawi Court, where we are now awaiting a decision of the of the of the magistrate, there, not the High Court, on the issue of um, of. Um, you will remember there was a ruling that fly to Malawi. Um, and that um, um, the, 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 our request it does not follow within the, Ma, uh, the Malawian law. And the court has uh, ruled that um, we fall within uh, Schedule 1 of, um, of the Malawian um, uh, law, and our request is in order. The next issue that is now uh, 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 under consideration by the court is, um, is that um, the argument from our um, uh, the, the, the DPP of Malawi is that the Swen Avidavid uh, in a South African com- uh, competed court should be considered instead of us flying witnesses to, to Malawi, which is now a ruling we are awaiting, and it will be delivered on the 5th of, um, of, um, of August. The Bobrovs are also another highly uh, publicized pair, father and son. Yes, um, it is, and um, it's a matter which is in the Israel courts, and and also awaiting a DGM in our um, in the in the in the constitutional court for a, a, a year on the on the amount um, of three million uh, Israelis that um, the Israel authorities are prepared to share with the South African authorities um, on the decision that was made, but. Um, as we speak now, we are awaiting a concord date here in South Africa because um, the Bobrovs, the uh, Atenis, they feel they've got the point to argue on that issue. The Czech Republic wants Radovan Krejcer back? Yes, um, they do because there are charges, uh, various charges that they want him to face uh, in the courts of the Czech Republic. But as you are aware, um, our court um, has already decided that it's indeed extraditable to the Czech Republic. But we are still um, having lots of uh, court uh, cases that um, he is attending here in South Africa. We can only be able to determine uh, the matter once uh, all those uh, court cases is attending to him. Minister, Minister, concerns have been raised about the capacity of the NPA to finalise some of these matters, especially the Gupta case and the Bushiri case. Any lessons learnt? I don't know what the concerns uh, are those, because um, the Bushiri matter, the NPA and ourselves as the central authority are compliant. They are in, 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 the matter is in the Malau court. The UAE one with regards to the Guptas, we are compliant. The matter is now with the central authority in the UAE. So um, everything has been done according to the book. And uh, the officials uh, in the Department of Justice and also 
in the in the NPA who are handling the matter are competent officials, Bongani, who have handled uh, extradition matters for many years. And as you have you will have heard from the briefing, they deal with a lot of extradition and mutual legal assistance uh, matters. We have never had any challenge of uh, of competency in that uh, space. Seven o two. More than a radio station. Let's walk the talk.